Uh, I'd like to call the uh, meeting of the Open Space Committee uh, to order. And uh, could we please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> okay. I'd like to, uh, first of all, uh, welcome our new members, uh, Daryl Falarski, and I think all of you know who Daryl is. Anybody that doesn't, uh, uh, Daryl's been on the island for a long time and uh, has graciously agreed to join us on the committee. And also uh, Pat Selby, who uh, was the liaison from the Conservancy and is now a full-fledged uh, uh, member uh, of the committee. So welcome to you both, and uh, uh, hopefully we will have a uh, productive uh, season. Uh, I have given each of you a, a packet which contains uh, some information, particularly I made it up for, uh, uh, for your probably for the new member, for, for you, Daryl, and, and Pat. You know, I know you may have a lot of the stuff already, but... Uh, it's just the uh, kind of a summary of all the things that uh, uh, we need to know. And during the course of the meeting, I'll probably be referring to uh, things for you to look uh, in the uh, uh, in that packet. First item is the uh, approval of the minutes of the last meeting. Uh, if you could just take a look at them, they're on the they're in your packet, just right behind the uh, agenda. If there's any uh, gross errors in there, let me know and I'll be happy to change them. So to take a minute and look through them. Make a motion we accept them as, uh, and we approve them as, as presented. Second. 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 Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Are there uh, any additions or deletions to the, to the uh, current, current agenda or maybe future agendas? You might want to think about the future agendas, things we might want to talk about in future meetings. So uh, we'll be asking that same question uh, at the end of the meeting. If there's, we'll be meeting every month, the first Tuesday at 7 o'clock here. Uh, the reason we're set up this way, we're going to try this to see how it works. It's a little informal. It kind of gives us a chance to spread out and talk to each other and have discussions and uh, concentrate on getting things done. Cliff, the camera picks us up. Right? Yes, it, it does. It does not do as good a job, but it will pick us up. Okay. Okay. The uh, one future agenda item I thought I'd, I'd like to... Uh, have in a future meeting, not tonight, is um, we talked about um, the issue of when trail requests come to us that yeah. we really don't have any uh, development guidelines for them, okay. and, and that's something that you know could be a subset of us working on it, but it's something that I'd like to see us working on design guidelines, mm -hmm. you know, selection criteria estimating all the things that um, have been raised okay. in past meetings, but mm -hmm. we haven't pulled them together. Agreed. Okay. Then, uh, I suggested that uh, we uh, keep the existing trails open and go through there and see if there's any safety issues. Okay. With their color, there will be. Yeah. There, <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. With what? Okay. With, her, with his collar, there'll be some safety. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else before we proceed? Uh, I've had uh, questions about um, uh, citizens, residents of the island being able to go into open space where there's dead trees lying down and... Uh, Cut them up for fire. Well, that's what we're going to be talking about tonight. Oh. That's under that's under the, that, well, that, I wasn't sure what that dead wood removal program meant. So. Yeah. Oh, good. I'm good. It's, it's good. On I see it now. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? If not, uh, 
Lee, hopefully might be here. Lee is the liaison from the Recreation Commission. Uh, Pat, you're no longer simply the liaison, but you are on the Conservancy. Is there anything that you want to tell us about the Conservancy um, coming up? Just that the uh, Sundays at the Gibraltar Unit Nature uh, area are still continuing. They've been well attended over the summer. Sometimes there's been special programs and mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's just been open for uh, tours and that kind of thing. And I'm not sure the end date for those, but I believe they've been Sundays from 1 to 4. Um, it's uh, always shown in the EO camera. Um, so mm -hmm. watch those for uh, okay. upcoming programs. And the uh, I've, I've probably mentioned it before, but the Conservancy has a Facebook page, and that also is where special events are announced, including the uh, mm -hmm. nature area stuff. Okay. So okay. that's Thank all you. I got. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Pam, uh, as far as the township is concerned, can you tell us uh, uh, the latest happenings mm -hmm. as far as the township is concerned, or, you know, millages and so forth? Well, uh, you had four questions here that uh, I tried to reach Dale today and left a message. Okay. And he hasn't responded, so uh. I can't give you answers, but I know that the board uh, is, it will be on the agenda on uh, September 12th, is it? Yeah, the 12th, that um, we're going to take a look at the guidelines and policies of the Open Space Committee and hopefully get that officially passed by the township board and I believe the trail issue is going to be brought up and because uh, we want guidelines from the board. Yeah, I so thought that was going to be a, a, a study session. No, it's the on trail? the agenda. The trail? As, as far as I as, know. As I an action item or as a discussion? I think it's an action item. I just saw briefly the draft of hmm. the agenda, and I haven't seen the final right. agenda yet. Okay, all right. But it will be um, okay. coming up <clears throat> on the 12th. All right. That's news, because I didn't think, I think, last I heard from Brian Loftus at a meeting that he wanted to make that a study session mm -hmm. discussion before it went to the board for an action item. Mm -hmm. So I'm a little bit confused by that one, to tell you the truth. Well, we get a, a draft, and then the final agenda is done. Usually it's available on a Friday okay. before the meeting. Okay. So there, sometimes there are changes from the draft to the final. Okay. Now, for, the, for everybody else in the meeting, the question that I asked Pam was that as far as the renewal of the open space village that's going to expire at the end of this year. That's a procurement. Uh, I believe that that item is, uh, has died. It's not going to be on, we're not going to, the item is not going to even be on the ballot, so it's going to die of its own accord. Is that correct? As, as far as I know, I know the, not only the, um, there's a, a vote from the uh, population for uh, this how we want to proceed with paying off our uh, lawsuit that was settled with a sewage uh, suit. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe the, the road millage is going to be on. Okay. So I, as I understand it, they are not going to put the open space millage up in okay. November. Now, as far as the assessment of the, we have on the books right now, we have approved assessment uh, and an approved millage for open space procurement that will be on this December's tax bill, and that will be the last year, the last point. Now, there's been some discussion about whether it should be uh, assessed or not assessed. So um, we all have some opinions on that. I have mine, uh, but uh, I think that uh, uh, we should be, uh, I don't know, anybody else has any opinions on it, but I think we should assess that millage to give us enough money to carry us through the next three to four years, but that's only my opinion, okay? So I don't know how else. Uh, Daryl, what do you feel about that issue? Do you have any opinion? Well, it would be a good idea to assess it at a low assessment. Okay. You know? Yeah. And then... Let it, yeah, 
let it go. Let it go. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And I don't want to put you on the spot, but what's your feeling on this? <coughs> we well, got $600,000 in the open space procurement fund right now. I know, but, <coughs> but see, they already elected not to collect the the uh, the one year um, um, entitlement that the voters had uh, afforded us uh, before. This, that was this last year. year. Uh, that's mm -hmm. this year. No, this was 2011. Year. No, 2010. Well, it was not on the it's last. It's on the December 2010 uh, tax bill that you didn't pay until it was not winter yeah. 11. Yeah. Okay. We're talking the same thing. But but the, I the idea is that the, I think that. Um, I think we need to go ahead with the collection of the assessment that is already on the rule. Uh, on the, it's already been approved by the voters. Woody, any any comments on no, that? 2010 was approved by the voters, but the uh, township board. I know. It is, that's why I said it the way I said it. Yeah, they can do it again this year, I believe. Well, I, they can do that, but, yeah. but uh, we. I mean, you know, the voters, the voters, voters say yes, to go ahead, and the township board says no. How many years ago did they vote for that? Well, What's that? Well, how many years ago was that? They voted for this. That right? was three, three years ago. Three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah, this yeah. this December will be the last time that that millage will be on the uh, on the tax roll. Yeah, three years ago was better times there. Right now. Not the fall of 08. Huh? Not the fall of 08. No, not the fall That's of 08. That's when it was. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was. That's when things were hitting the fan. Yeah. I was unemployed that fall. I remember <laughs> and, and it very specifically. Pat, put you on the spot, or what do you, what do you um, think? I um, agree with Art that it's been voted in. We did skip a year. Um, I One thing I do want to know is I, I don't remember exactly um, if it is assessed in full. Is that about six hundred grand, or how much do we get? It's, it's assessment on the winter tax bill. And it's six hundred thousand dollars. That's about how much we get. That's about Even how much we get. Even after adjustment, property taxes, and that kind of thing, do we know? Uh, you know, it might be Probably a little bit less than that, than that but okay. that, I mean, okay. it's around that figure. I'm just guessing right now. It was. It, it, it would be less than that because it's based on the assessed value. It's That's right. It might be even five hundred. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. But but the idea is it's, it's, it's been it approved would, by the taxpayers, and right. we 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 right. could collect. Sure. Point. Pam, can you do you have any thoughts on that issue? Well, my thought is that uh, this may be the last time that we'll get uh, that kind of money available, okay. and um, I think we should spend it wisely and uh, just make sure that we've preserved enough of our open space that we don't lose the what we enjoy on the on the island. Okay. So I'm hoping that uh, the rest of the board will agree. Okay. Right, we'll just have to wait and see what happens, I suppose. Okay. No. What was Woody's input? I didn't catch yours, Woody. Mine. I'm, I'm for to take, okay. to take to take the six hundred. Okay. Okay. okay uh, the next item is the property acquisitions. Uh, Dale isn't here tonight, and uh, he's been very well tied up and cleaning up the other issues. Uh, uh, we will be meeting an executive session after this meeting to take a look at two uh, pieces of property that have been uh, offered by two residents for a possible sale to the Township Open Space Program. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about it. But we'll be our role here is merely to take a look at it and make some recommendations to Dale Ream, who does the actual negotiations. Uh, the welcome letter program uh, is a is a is a program uh, that Rose Ellison coordinates, and she still does that. When everybody moves to the island, uh, she gets a notice from the township that so and so has moved to the island, and we send them a welcome letter, welcome mm -hmm. to the island, and we give them some open space information. And uh, she's been handling that for us for about two years now. Okay. So she does that every month. Okay. Okay. So she handles that. Yeah, I, I do have a new neighbor on my block. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't call it a block. Okay. <laughs> so we'll probably have to give them some information. There. Yeah. Well, uh, a Rose, with, as I said before, the township gives information right. to Rose, and she puts the information mm -hmm. she has in a packet and sends it to sure. the So sure. hopefully they have it. And okay. it seems like now, uh, if you, in reading the superintendent's 
uh, column in the New York <coughs> camera that there are new families moving in. I, yes, I, there I, are. I, I, you know, I, I would like to know a little bit more about what he said. Because mm -hmm. I, uh, I still see so many vacant homes. When I say vacant homes, I mean homes that are for sale. And I see, I've seen only a few that had soul signs put up on them. But there were a few. And I think it, um, the, the, those two have got to be married. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you got you, you, the homes are not selling. Where how are the people getting here? I don't know, yeah. but we have 153 new students who signed up over the summer. Yeah. This is what this is what he said. Booming. This yeah. is what he said. Oh. I don't know. What excited no, is that? Off yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. How many off island? Um, school of choice. I think the total was. According to what his article said. Yeah, according I, I, to his know, article, uh, I got numbers today. According to his article, that's what he said. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and there are other students who come in from off-island that are not school of choice, children of uh, teachers and other employees, so I don't have those numbers. But now, okay. each one of those brings, what, $800 with them? I mean, in terms of uh, uh, so, you know, every supporting student that's physically attending the school. They, they bring whatever the amount of money is um, that... Okay, the, the allotment there. for yeah. their community, so more like uh, the seven to eight thousand range. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. okay great. But we're yeah. off topic for okay. You're right. You're space. absolutely right. Okay. But. Okay. The first action item that we have to pretty well decide on is, uh, in my opinion, the needed revamping of the over of our overseer program. Now, if you will turn in your packet to the uh, I think it's the uh, third, fourth item down. You will see that I have a, um, a map which shows all the open spaces on Grove Seal. And in front of that, I have a listing of the proposed overseer assignments. Um, and due to the uh, uh, our new members coming on board, I'd like to go through each one of these major categories and decide two things. Number one, who would like to volunteer for each one of these uh, particular pieces of property to take a look at? And the second thing I want to get your opinion on is should we include adjacent residents to assist us in the overseeing program and if we do how should we go about it so the first item is the overseer members and I'm going to take each one uh, Pam you have got number 10 when you look at the map it's uh, Manor Woods and Parkway Woods which is about uh, right in the middle, if you look at your, your map, you'll see each number is, is marked and there's a person's name next to it. Uh, Pam, do you, want to do you want to continue with that assignment or do you want to change it? No, this is fine. It's close to home. All right. Now, are there any adjacent residents on either one of those two pieces of property that you're aware of? Mm, uh, well, I've talked to a new neighbor, okay. <coughs> the uh, outdoorsman, okay. and he would be very willing to go in and uh, check the, that, okay. those two sections with me, or he might even take another one. Okay. All right. We'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, the bird sanctuary is, I think everybody on the island knows where the bird sanctuary is. That piece of property has been formally added to the open space program. Uh, it's always been considered open space from a de facto point of view. But the Garden Club has been stewarding that area since before, with the exception of Pam, Woody, and myself, and Art, before we were born. It goes back to World mm -hmm. War II. Wow. So I think this should continue mm -hmm. to look after that piece of property. I think to do anything otherwise uh, would be, I've talked to Barbara Carroll a couple of times and she has some plans for that area. Mm -hmm. So I, I think I think that's a very good idea to have Garden Club continue to, to 
take a look at that piece of property. Uh, Woody, uh, you've got the area to the east of the bird sanctuary and the horse mill greenway. Uh, do you want to continue with that? Is there any other areas that you... Yeah, I'll take the next one, too. It's right in the close of the same area. Horse mill's across the street and uh, Park Lane just down around the corner. Okay. Okay, so you're taking 4, 5, 19, and 6? Yeah. Okay. 4, 5, 6, 19. Okay. okay. All right. Now, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to... Uh, Daryl, um, there's still some open areas. Uh, What's around the uh, Centennial Farm? I could, I could do the Centennial Farm. Okay. The Centennial Farm, uh, if you know where that, you know where that right. is? Uh -huh. Okay. It's that it's area to the west. Mm -hmm. of the Centennial Farm. And that's how that whole large piece of open space. And it's bordered by Bellevue on one side, you know, 3rd, 4th, and 5th, and 6th streets mm -hmm. on the north side. On the south side, it's bordered by the folks on Manchester. Okay. So that's uh, that's an important piece of property. <coughs> Could you, uh, would you want to take I'd, uh, Yeah, let me uh, work with that. Okay. All right. So that'd be number thirteen, and uh, yeah, I, we got. I have these about. I have these other areas: uh, Grays Drive, Bike Park Path, Marion Park. I'd like to take the Bike Park Path. Um, okay. It's something we use all the time. Matter of fact, my husband just took trash bags through there okay. this last That's week good. and cleaned it up. So. Now Marion Park and uh, Grays Drive is that is that. Uh, Require a pass or Marion Park is mm -hmm. way at the north end of the yeah. island. If oh, you look okay. at, look at okay. the map, Daryl, okay. if you can, because uh, I was just wondering why they were they were bunched together. Well, that's so. because of the person that had it before. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, so they yeah. 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 They did that. Now, if you look at uh, if you look at the uh, uh, your map, look mm -hmm. at the north end where it says Marge Marion Park. It's that little piece of property way up there on the north end. I don't think we should have overseers for little bits and pieces of property. Right, right. Major parts, so I think we should. But uh, now, the, is there anything on there with trails that uh, I can oversee or? Uh At Centennial Farm, that, that'll be enough. There is a de facto trail in there. Is there? It's in other words, it's not an official trail, but. Oh, I thought it was. It's not on the official trip? It's not okay. on the official but it, it, it's, there. So it's there. It's there. It's there. Okay. It's, it's there. Okay. Yeah, you'll have to show me that. Yeah. Okay. And you, might be able, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. you might be able to do uh, El Mar and East River Road. We're down by you. Where? Okay. Uh, but I don't know where it is. But okay. El Mar and East River yeah. Road. Yeah. Meadows. Okay. Uh, I can look at that. Now that... Uh, which number is that? Let's talk about that one for a minute because okay. Woody's brought up a very important part. Okay. Uh, when you look at that, that's that okay, was that's a new that, that was a new addition. Okay. There was a jump is. Is that the old dump? dump. The old is that dump. the old dump? Is it the township <laughs> dump? Okay. Uh, it's it's flagged as new on the map. If you turn the page. Uh, let me let me let me go back and ask you a question. Okay. Pat says something that kind of bothered me a little bit, and that is that the overseers. Are not supposed to be assigned a responsibility of picking up the trash that's in those, in those properties. My point is that we're through there all the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So but right. I'm option. not setting the bar of what we do about yeah. it because yeah, I yeah, can't you're real possibly do that. that. I'm yeah. just saying yeah. Yeah. that's how well yeah. we know okay. it, okay. how much area means. But, but no, you're right. That's that's not the expectation, that's, that's, and that's, that's especially important for me. Yeah, but it still means something to you. Yeah. The overseer responsibility is to see the hazards that might be there that need to be. Yeah. Receive attention. Mm -hmm. And draw attention to trash. maintenance opportunities because to contact up, the township. Picking up trash. Oh, I should sure. Picking up, sure. let, me give, let me get back to my point. Picking up trash is directly related to the ac the accessibility of, of people that are not really uh, interested in using the, using the property as such. They're, they're people that just go through and, and discard things. So Cam can attest to this, the piece of property where there's a trail that goes from the... Um, from the public safety building to the children's place gate, you know, it is full of trash. Okay, and needs needs to have somebody pick it up. 
but it shouldn't be the person that's responsible for um, uh, for overseeing it because that would mean that you, in order to keep it clear of trash, if you're talking about keeping it clear of trash, you have to do that regularly. Like, you know, every couple of weeks you have to go through and pick up the trash because that's how frequently trash is discarded in those in those areas or accumulates in those areas. That's a good point. And, and Daryl, in other words, for example, if you see something in the Centennial Farm, mm -hmm. maybe there's a tree that's fallen down, right. or there's something that's happened that needs to be corrected, mm -hmm. that doesn't mean you have to get in there with a the shovel and do it. Tony Gray is our, and, okay. and his name is right down at the bottom. Tony Gray? Yeah. He is, and he, okay. does, an, he does an excellent job. He's our code enforcement officer. Okay. And if there's something that Mm -hmm. We got to get in there with a, uh, maybe some people with a shovel or something mm -hmm. to get in there and take care of something. We can arrange to have that done. Okay. That doesn't mean that you have to go in there and do the work. Okay. But you have to, if something happens, report it, bring it to everybody's mm -hmm. attention, and then. Well, then we and can that that raises a question. Um, are you asking us as overseers to make that contact with Tony? Would you like to filter that to a degree? Uh, you know, should you be the main point of contact if you're in town, or no, or, or you think we we should go directly to Tony, Tony, each of us individually, and that's fine. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And I told Tony that. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Tony's going to have a copy of this, and so if you see something in there that has to be done, okay, you may at your discretion, if you want, mm -hmm. let me know. But, don't, but okay. it is not necessary. But um, there's a point of point of order there, and that is that. If if it's just done by word of mouth, there's nothing in writing, then how do we know that it has been corrected or it has not been corrected or it has gotten to Tony's attention so that he accepted it as, as something that he's going to take action on? Tony, uh, when I have dealt with him, you send him an email. We have found this. Well, if you send him an email, then you've got a record that you, that you notified him. Yeah. Yeah, you can do it by contact. When I mean contact, you can send him an email. Well, like and he is very good on emailing you back as to when it will be done and when it has been okay, done. Okay, that's the point I was making, that, that you really should have something in writing rather than just a telephone call or yeah, running into him on, a, on the street. Art, that's a very good point. We'll yeah. make the word, we'll do you have his it. email address? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Before it's also, if you go to the groziel.com website, okay. um, then yeah, there's drop-down menus with different ones. Okay. I'll if you can't find it. Sure. Uh, okay. Cliff, I can take Gray's Drive, that point there that's open, or it's new. Mm -hmm. okay. And I'd like to take the uh, that num new number 23, the Park Lane Stout Woods. Okay. Where is that? Yeah, I thought you that, would. That's the trail side. Well, which one is that? That's not trails. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Okay. You like trails. Okay. Uh, well, let me do. Let me do twenty-four. Uh, I, I need a challenge. I will work okay. with the dump. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let me be careful. Yeah. What is going to get mad at me here? Why? But this is a new area. Sure. And that area, we have to take a real good audit. Yeah. Of yeah. That area. Yeah. I'll do it. Uh, to find out what's in there. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that we need to correct? Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, I went through there once with mm -hmm. uh, Leah Schalke, and that's the first time I've been back. Mm -hmm. It's kind of wild and woolly, but there's a nice meadow back there, mm -hmm. you know. So if you need any help with that, you let us know. Okay. But that one, is from a priority basis, needs to have a real good audit in terms okay. of, okay, the township gave it to us, what do we got? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure. Daryl, when I was a kid, we would load up our old Chevy with trash <laughs> and drive there and dump it mm -hmm. in the township dump. And when I look back on that, I can't believe that that was the that practice. Was, yeah. I can't believe you did that, Pam. It <laughs> <laughs> was a long time ago. Oh, wow. Uh, she she wasn't a was load man, and, yeah. and, and, and no, there's so people that do the same thing now. It was yeah. the universally okay. accepted way to get rid of our okay. mm -hmm. um, The conservancy has up. walked through there, and, um, and like I said, this is secondhand, but my understanding is there are still some areas where there's broken glass and other debris, mm -hmm. so that's why I caution you to be real careful when you do go through. Well, there's, there's, there's still dis uh, um, refuges discarded 
in where we we refer to it as the um, as the bird sanctuary. You know, at the, the people uh, are dumping stuff at the north end. Oh yeah, because we we clean it up the uh, every as, year. As the, part of the island cleanup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the clean up. We have to go in there and pick up. You'll find okay. you'll find things discarded in there like uh, roofing shingles and. That's and awful. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that that happens. It should sure. be fine. Oh, okay. Now let me. Who's got the bike pass? Uh, I said I'd take that. Okay. Be because how I'm interpreting that is that's what skirts the Edge Ferry Woods there, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Marion Park is one that's where this lady wanted to trail through. Now, that's way at the north end. Um, that doesn't go all the way to the bike path, doesn't go that far. No, 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 no. I'm talking Marion Park is that way. Yeah. It's isolated. It's where Marguerite had it, and we mm -hmm. don't have it to sign. Yeah. Yeah. I'll leave that open for right well, now. If somebody else wants to And that it. might be one that lends itself toward um, a neighbor. Yeah. Um, I don't know if some of the folks who advocated for the mm -hmm. trails okay. would be willing to get involved with it. Okay, Listen, let me go back and make sure I got them all. I think. I got Pam has got Manor Woods and Parkway. Mm -hmm. uh, the Garden Club's got the Bird Sanctuary. Woody's got the East of the Bird Sanctuary, Horse Mill, Park Lane, and the Horse Mill Open Space, right? Yeah, that's right across the street. Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. I've Greenway got the Manchester the 80 Acre Woods, and then there's a there's a man there's a 80 acre, there's a there's a Manchester Woods and an 80 Acre Woods. They're right on Meridian, just north of Grove Road. So I'll continue to take care of that one. Uh, Pat, you had the Corn Apple property. Mm -hmm. You still? It's fine. Okay. Uh, now the next pool and. Uh, Sam, you got Gray's Drive. Pat, you got the bike path. Right. Marion Park, uh, we got that open. Uh, Daryl's got the Centennial Farm. Rose Allison will continue to have the recreation trail. Wendell Court and uh, and the uh, uh, Loma Circle. Uh, Pat has got the Stout Woods. That's the new area. Daryl's got the Albemarle East River Meadows. Now, the next thing we have to resolve is that should we and how should we contact those areas that have residents bordering right on the open space to have them assist in uh, looking after the open spaces? I think, I think before you do that, Cliff, you should establish what, what kind of assistance do you want to ask of, of, of them. Okay. So let's do that first. We won't do it right now. Yeah. But uh, can, could, could somebody volunteer to maybe prepare a draft of set of instructions that we can give residents that want to volunteer to help mm -hmm. in the oversee program. Like maybe for the, as far as I call it, the township, maybe there's nobody living around there. So, mm -hmm. right. but, but those areas that have residents bordering, like the Centennial Farm, and we've got mm -hmm. 80 Acre Woods, and uh, uh, I think we've got some horse, some of the property on uh, Park Lane and Horse Mill, I believe. Um, let's decide what do we want them to do and then secondly once we consent on that how are they going to do it well, I, it would be my suggestion that what should, what should happen is that it should be a communi somebody from, from who's on the open space committee yeah. should be assigned a responsibility but the people that who are being enlisted to assist them, those people who live in the neighborhood should be given instructions as to how they can make contact with that person okay. that we're supposing is your, your piece of property. And then uh, you would then okay. be the one that would be contacting Tony Gray. Okay. Because otherwise, uh, Tony Gray, we don't want to open open the, the, the complaints okay, that are going to be referred to Tony Gray to okay. every citizen on the other. Okay. Could you put this down in writing and then email us, uh, yeah. uh, email I'd be to us I'd be happy to. for our comments on that? And then at the, sure. at the, and then at the next meeting, we'll We'll just say, yeah. okay, this is what we're going to do, and we'll, uh, should we, and then next, uh, once we get that done, should we have, should we select people, instead of having like 60, 75 overseers for the Centennial mm -hmm. Farm, and maybe as many for, maybe we should just randomly select five people, ask for their help, and here's how, here's what you do, and here's how you do it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you have all our email addresses, just email us. Or I'll email it to me 
and I'll send it out to everybody, okay. whichever you want. To I think it's a good idea to give them how frequently we would want them to take a look at the... Uh, That's right. That's what Art's going to do. Yep. Art will put down exactly what we should be doing, yep. and then everybody will and have... What they're up. looking for. And yeah, right. yeah, what, what, what they're looking for, and, and then, of course, to whom they should report it, and, and then mm -hmm. um, so that we have Pretty a... Much. We have a we. In other words, we, we need to we need to be organized. Okay. So mm -hmm. that we know what uh, now what's what going to be done by whom. Now, what if we have people that are already taking care of the property? You know, uh, like that one piece we looked at where they put half of it in the lawn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an issue. Yeah. Well, that's, but we don't want that. that it could be. No, 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 is an issue, too. Yeah. But yeah. yeah the, 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 well, that, that's one of the things that what if we want the something? residents, yeah. you know, the residents that are um, going to be asked to, that we're going to you know, recruit approach. them. Yeah. Does and that's mean. one of the things that they have to be, uh, be observing, uh, observing. If somebody is encroaching on mm -hmm. open space property, and that has to be handled. But I don't see any problem with them going in there and cutting what's already on the ground and yeah. what do you mean and keeping it clean? Grass, no, but, but we, we have people that are... What if they're doing that? Um, this, we, this is what we have to decide yeah. and whether we're going to do that because the first is, the two, is first is two feet, then it's four feet, and the next thing you know is six feet. And, and this is also why we need to look critically at who we ask to do this right. neighbor assistant and oversight it. because it's a little bit of the uh, fox watching the hen house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we do end up going to somebody who says, you know, oh, that, that open space is very important to me, I'd like to help watch it, and they're one of the encroachers. That, right. that seems to put a you know, stamp of approval yeah. on how they're using it, so we don't want to do that. Right. Okay, well, Art, you prepare a draft. Yeah, I, I would do that. And then, and, and, it next meeting. and then I'll mm -hmm. send it to, uh, you want to send it to me? I'll send it to you. And, and then you can you can distribute it. And then I'll email to everybody you, for, well, your, for your first thing you know, I'll send it to you, and you can critique it. Mm -hmm. Then you take then you then you send it to everybody else for their critique. Okay. Then, and then we should come back and discuss it and say yeah, this is what we want to go with. Okay. And then the third step, of course, is selecting the people that are going yeah. to be yeah. that we yeah. want to yeah. write them a letter of responsible people. Yeah. Yeah. Take it one step at a time. You know, you've, yeah. got, you've got to be you got to be kind of kind of careful. And I say this with. Uh, with uh, with the tongue in cheek, if I put it that way, yeah. um, some people will make we will make good helpers or good mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and some will not make good helpers, even mm -hmm. though they they it sounds like on, on paper that they that's going to be a difficult thing, but you you're going to have to take it, mm -hmm. try yeah. it out. And see I understand works. I understand that, but but some people are com you know habitual complainers, yeah. and we can't we can't uh, we can't really. Um, Make the open space committee more popular by yeah. by making everybody have an open line, uh, um, open line for making complaints against right. against the property. I think one of the statements that you made, I thought, was a good one. Instead of having these multi overseers contact Tony Gray, they contact you. I mean, for your property, right. and then you take that and you might want to look at it yourself. You might not. And you might get in touch with Tony. So Tony only gets word from members of the committee. Yep. And I think that's an excellent point. Okay. Okay. Good. So that's what we'll do then. Okay. Okay. The next item uh, is a discussion item. And that is, uh, I got it down here, fall dump the junk program or and or a deadwood removal program. This is something that been talked about recently for uh, quite a long time and I'm not going to be forgive me if I'm going to be if I sound dictatorial I'm not but I've been thinking about this for some time and uh, there's before we even consider it we have to consider uh, in my mind uh, how should we do this uh, uh, there's a lot of questions that got to be asked uh, first of all the liability issues that have to be addressed. Secondly, once we get past that, uh, uh, do we uh, should we just select it as a test program? Take one piece, one one uh, parcel, I'll get a candidate, and have and have uh, uh, select maybe a week or a weekend where you can go in there and uh, uh, cut up the dead wood and take it. Uh, should it be monitored? 
Uh, That's if you want to have it in a work party context, or do you just yeah. want to have so, it open for that time period? Yeah. So I, my thinking is that before we start running with this, let's walk. Let's yes. take, take a, a piece of property, try it out for a week or maybe a weekend, see how it works out, review the problems we're going to have, and then decide mm -hmm. what, what we should do. Now, that's, that's, that's my opinion, but that's a good idea. I'd like to hear comments from me. From oh, when everybody on this. The only thing is, the, the only thing is, a, a, a serious problem that we need to address, and that is the liability. Right. Okay. And uh, once once this becomes a a um, a standard practice, then there's along with that we have the chance of being being responsible for the safety of the person. Mm -hmm. You know, or persons. You know, if I cut a tree down, I let it drop drop on you. Mm -hmm. And, and then you're a and, and what happens then? I know there's a lot of people that have been asked. They talk to Dale, and I think Dale has talked to Ann Darzak and asked her to get in touch with the township attorney to find out can it be done, and if so, what what does he feel needs to be done? Do we have to have each guy that goes, each person that goes in there? Say sign a waiver. Sign a waiver. Yeah, exactly. yeah, well, I, I, I would. Mm -hmm. I would think that yeah. we, we we ought to look at it this way, and that is when it is a danger, removing dead wood, dead trees. Yeah. Okay. Then it, there's that should be under a different guideline. In other words, if you're going to cut and fall a tree, that should be under a different guideline than if the tree is already down. You're just cutting it up and taking it out. In my opinion. Go Excuse ahead. me, go ahead. No, 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 no. Pat, go I ahead. I was just going to say, I think that, I, I'd actually like to back up in this discussion and say, um, I'm not sure I'm clear on the purpose we're talking about. Are we doing this, opening the various open spaces, or an individual one as a test program, uh, to respond to requests by township residents to say, you've got that fallen wood, I'd like to go in and get it, and it would only be about fallen wood, or is this um, partly to recover trails that previously existed that we want to uncover? I, I'm not clear on the purpose for what, what you've called deadwood removal. So that would go a little bit as far as a, kind of a scope issue you know, almost. 20, 20 years ago, Pat, this would have been a different, a different issue. Yes. But when, when all the ash trees died, that left a lot of standing trees that were dead that were doomed to be... Um, uh, not I personally would propose as part of this that um, it is only, if we're opening this to residents, it's only removal of fallen trees. I, I would think that a yeah. reasonable line to draw is we still have yeah. the right. um, township right. or township contractors handle taking down dead then, trees. Then we shouldn't call it dead wood. We should, but we should call it fallen trees. You can have trees that are standing that will fall over. Sure. And that's a liability right well, there sure. that are dead already. But, yeah. but we can, uh, but we a waiver can be drafted. Yeah, yeah but we have yeah. to have a 100% waiver yeah. of liability. Absolutely. And then if anybody wants to go in there and get the wood, I think they should pay, you know, maybe $10 towards this permit because it's costing us in legal fees to draw it up. Woody, do you have no. any comments? No, I think just that uh, we got to get, should get it done, clean up the mess we got out there. Yeah. Yes. I, I think, I think that really, uh, Cliff, that what we should do is we should get some, some legal counsel from somebody who is employed by by the township to yes. give us that kind of advice. That is in process, and what I, the only thing that I will do is I'll tell them, you know, it doesn't take, shouldn't take a month of Sundays to get an attorney yeah. to to, uh, to draw right. something but, up. Yeah, yeah. But, but the idea yeah. is that so, so, so that we so that we get a mm -hmm. a uh, a legal description of what we're going to yeah. um, do. Uh, take this responsibility okay. for. And then another thing, Cliff, we have to pay for this insurance, you know, for these people. I, uh, I don't right think so. Unless we're covered under... Well, we I'm betting this already is under yeah. general as long as liability, we're covered, but, but again, we have to check and question. see if we're already covered. Yeah. And, and who is talking to whom? You said Dale is talking to Ann? Ann Darsnack yeah. has, to my understanding, uh, I just this is all brand new. I mean, this happened mm -hmm. in the last week or so, 
is in contact with who is our township attorney? Look, right. is that his name? Look, to find mm -hmm. out how this can be done uh, with under our yeah. present policy. But I want but to address Pat your statement. Why are we doing this? And that's a damn good question. The reason, the purpose in doing this, in my mind, is to improve the appearance of the open space and make the open spaces more easier to walk through, right. to take a tour through. I'm not talking trails now. I'm just talking about where you can walk through an, op uh, an open space without having to climb over 50,000 fall right, trees. Right, right, right. Okay? I'm being a little bit facetious. But, See, but you know, you, 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 you run into a discussion, Kevin, we, we've had this before, with environmentalists. They like to see fallen trees rot and they yeah. grow lizards. It's, it's and wildland grow, habit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Habit, and, yeah. So and that this is this is one of the things that you know you you have to be concerned with. That, yeah. That's why I, I'd like to have some scope on it, and even in areas in which we say yes, you can go into this property and remove the dead trees. Mm -hmm. I'd like a level of management to it to say we would tape it off and say within this area, okay. whether it's in a trail path, right. whether it's um, uh, you know in, in some other manner that you identify it. I, I'm a little concerned if if it appears too open, then we're going to have everybody going in right, and say, "Oh, right. there's an ash tree down here, and I've got a you know but, a patio fire pit." And but right now, with these dead trees, these ash trees falling, mm -hmm. we're blocking the deer trails. Yeah, and the deer are coming out into people's yards and that. So we have to consider that too. You know? Now maybe uh, another maybe what we should do is let's, let's say. Just for sake of argument, mm -hmm. that uh, we do get a, a review back from the uh, from the, uh, the attorney. Attorney says, "Okay, right, right. you have to have the resident before he enters. He has to sign away. Exactly. And we're going to do it the weekend of November fifteenth and sixteenth at Open Space X. Mm -hmm. And uh, during that weekend, we're going to have monitors in that open space to review what's going on. Right. Okay." Now that's just that's thought pattern. Sure. Nothing but but that's some things that may have to be done, uh, and see what uh, uh, I know. I've uh, I haven't physically caught him, but I come very close. I got a call from one of the folks in the conservancy. Called me on the phone and said there's somebody got his truck parked on Meridian, no, Grusiel Parkway. He's back in the woods loading his truck up. And I mm -hmm. said, did you call the police? No, I'm calling you. So, first thing I did, I, I called the uh, called the police to find out uh, if they were there, right. and, uh, and I ran down, got my car, jumped down. Of course, the guy was mm -hmm. gone, you know. But that's that's the very thing. But all these things have to be answered, right. and before we the police go, okay, cut it already. <laughs> mm -hmm. But but I think it's something. The prime, in my in my humble opinion, I think the reason for doing that is just as you said to maybe improve the appearance, make it easier mm -hmm. to walk through. But to everybody's point, it's got to be policed. you got to take it one step at a time. Uh -huh. I don't know where we're thinking. Maybe maybe we would want to do it. Um, I'd like to do it this fall sometime. If we can, maybe in November after the, uh, mm -hmm. after the leaves of after fall. After the leaves of fall. Yeah, maybe November 15th. Or I've just picked that date arbitrarily. But it's something that interfering with all the hunters clips. That's, that's right. It's something that maybe you put your thoughts down mm -hmm. and email it to me, okay? And say these are the things we got to consider. And then by next meeting in October, hopefully we'll have the answer mm -hmm. back from our our uh, uh, legal folks. And I can say this is what everybody has concerned about, and uh, uh, this is what we got to do. So let's target. Uh, each one of you voice your concerns. These are the things we should look out for. Email it to me. I'll try to collect it and I'll get back to you with what everybody else is thinking. And then we can have a kind of a wrap up discussion next meeting. Uh, Woody, if we go through with this, should we still have the dump the junk program this fall? Why not? I'm asking you the question. Should we? Yes. Okay. When should we have it? Mm -hmm. Middle of October. Yeah, okay. it's usually October. Middle of October. October 15th. Okay. Do we agree that we should have the dump the junk program? 
in October again. It's something that's almost automatic. All we do is make a yeah. phone call mm -hmm. to uh, Linda uh, Benito. She makes arrangements for the uh, dumpsters. And then we have uh, volunteers. Uh, mm -hmm. We have it from, what, 9 to 4? Saturday, 9 to, nine to four. 4 on Sunday. Mm -hmm. right. Should we have that at the end of October? Middle. Middle? It's historically, when we've yeah. done it. And Woody mm -hmm. has the assignment to make sure he selects the weekend that it doesn't rain. He didn't do so <laughs> well in May. Yeah, so. It rain. Yeah. So, uh, so we should have it. Uh, okay. So 10, 15, and 16, are we setting it? No, we're not. What, uh, let's, we can set it now. What, what date should we have it? The, the middle uh, of October. Middle of October. Uh, 14th and 15th. Uh, or the 15th and 16th. Is that a, that's Saturday, all on a weekend? Sunday. Okay, yep. 14th 15th and 16th. And 16th? Yep. Or 14th and 16th. 14th and 15th, is that it is? No. 15th, 15th and 16th. 15th and 16th, okay. Saturday and Sunday. Okay. okay. 15th, 16th. Okay. And we're going to have input from the committee. Okay, so we're going to have to dump the junk, and uh, we're also at the next meeting. We'll we'll just uh, wrap have a wrap up session about what's uh, uh, things we got to consider, and then we'll decide. I think at that time, uh, you can be thinking about what open space. If we want to have a specific piece mm -hmm. of property, what open space would you want to do it? We couldn't do it island wide. That. That'd be dumb, no. in my opinion. I think we should select mm -hmm. to the test. One piece of property, see how it works out, in my opinion. Should, yeah, we, do way to do it. Should we do it around the Centennial Farm first? Sure. Since that's pretty well visible. Yeah, we can take it off of Meridian. And mm -hmm. okay. If you want a small test case, there's that property between Stout and the end of Park Lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could do it. With a well defined trail. Yeah. But that isn't <laughs> all, prop all open space, is it? Yeah, it is. It is. is it? It is. It well, is. We could it's I mean, private. The we portion that we could is do we could, do we could, uh, we could look at the trail. And yeah, the, the portion mm -hmm. that uh, where the trees have fallen over the existing trail. Yeah, yeah, okay. you know, we could work uh, that out. That is. Uh, oh, there's a there's another piece of open space property that that um, it, it's lost its sign as a as a result of all of the uh, all the trees that fall. No, no, the when they. Put the underground sewer system in. Okay. Mm -hmm. They Which broke up the same. Right, right at the junction of Laurie and uh, and Radian. Well, that's one of the uh, things we'll do at the next meeting. Yeah, but but well, what I'm saying is that this is this is only about a about a third of an acre. Okay. But there's a, a dead tree in there that really yeah. could fall well, uh, over the, over the. Uh, you know, we could have area. one medium. So yeah. maybe we could have two pieces mm -hmm. of property mm -hmm. or three. Mm -hmm. uh, what we could do? Why don't you just uh, in your own mind? Recommend what piece of property you think you'd like to have it, and we can discuss it at the next meeting. Okay. okay. East River Meadows. There ain't no. <laughs> that's just a little bit too big. That's exactly yeah. what it is. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit too big. Okay. All right. Uh, so put your thinking caps on, and then we'll uh, we'll decide that at the next meeting. Okay. And the fifteenth and sixteenth is the dump the junk uh, process as usual. Uh, Daryl, if nothing has to be done, it's simple. We, I make a phone call to Lorenda. Mm -hmm. I says, uh, we get 20 dumpsters. They bring in the dumpsters. One mm -hmm. thing we have to do is decide among ourselves who what wants what time. 20. Okay. Okay. So. What, what are you suggesting? That's 20. You, you said 20? <laughs> well, you just, you tell me how many you I want. Don't want right? We don't need 20. Okay. You, you decide how many you want. Okay. okay. All right. Okay, the last item is just for informational purposes. In June, the Oak Face Committee consensed yeah. and voted on a, uh, a document to present to the Township Board regarding our organization and our charges. And uh, that item is on the, what is it, is it uh, 12. the 12th? Mm -hmm. That's on a Monday night, right? Yeah. Okay, that answers one of my questions then. So, what we'll be doing is we'll be formally requesting that the Township Board approve our organization charges 
Each one of you have a cop has a copy of that in your packet. And that's already been decided on the you know pre uh, before you came on the board. Mm -hmm. We decided that's the way it's going to be. I'm, I don't know what the township board is going to do, but uh, we want them to formally approve it. Okay. What what's the date on that? Uh, uh, it's the twelfth. The twelfth of, of September. September. Twelfth of September. Week yeah. from Monday. Week from last night. Yeah. Okay. Week from last night. And it starts at seven. Do township board meetings seven or seven thirty? Now is it Pam? No, not seven thirty. You're always waiting around that one. What's that? Move it to the. Don't make it the last item to discuss, oh. please. <laughs> make you it guys are never on time lately. What do you say is seven thirty? Make it well, I don't. As as far as I know, there's no pre meeting. Uh, uh, number one. All right. Okay. Is there uh, if uh, we don't have I any? Make, I make a motion to adjourn. I've got just a couple of quickies. Please. Okay. Um. <laughs> I'm uh, with a creative writing club, yeah. Okay. And um, I asked them, would you do a little writing on the subject of um, the benefits and the hazards of having trails in an open space? Well, uh, most of them said, oh, that's not down my line of writing. So we changed the subject, but a couple of them did write, mm -hmm. and I got one here. I'll give it to you, Cliff. Okay. See what you think of it. Good. But it's a cute little tale she's done mm -hmm. about animals talking about the trash left in open space, mm -hmm. and uh, okay. let's see, uh, the four mothers, and these were animal mothers, yeah. agreed yeah. that it was so much more peaceful when there was just a suggestion of a trail and a few nice humans walking through who had my Identified 22. He that they like all on open space. On open space. Okay. And you want them to be tagged? Uh, he w he would like to give a presentation to the open space committee mm -hmm. on okay. his findings. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. We can. Can okay. we do that in the next meeting? Uh, he thought he would be. It would be all wrapped up um, by October. So maybe October, maybe November. I'll okay. check with him. All right. Let's uh, let's put it on the November agenda then. And he would like to get little plaques, okay. plastic plaques, mm -hmm. to put on the trees. There's one on um, Macomb Street. I don't think a lot of people know that we have a champion, Downey Hawthorne, wow. on Macomb Street, okay. <laughs> that has a plaque on it. It's a little metal plaque, but you have to put your nose right in it. Mm -hmm. well, let's, it let's have him give his presentation at the November, November. meeting, mm -hmm. and we'll have it right here, and he'll be on TV, and we can sit back in the judging mm -hmm. chamber here, you know. Is, with, what's this young's name? Josh Shaw, S-H-A-H. -H. Okay. He's a freshman. He plays on the tennis team, so he is his, his father Is his father name A.J.? Yeah. Okay, his father is a, a doctor. Okay. I know him very well. Well, they came into the house this summer and made his presentation. Okay. He may be asking for, see if there's any open space fund that would pay for the plaques. And I said, you can present your proposal okay. and then we can give you a decision. Okay, we'd love to tell him that we would love to have him uh, make his presentation and we're suggesting the November meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay? I All right. Do that. Okay. All right, you have a statement. Okay. What was your view? You, you we're going to make a statement. Oh, I, 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 I want to adjourn. My, my, I, I made a motion to adjourn. Okay. We have no public comment right. because there's nobody so, here. Uh, so, I'll, if I'll second it. Okay.
Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now, so the meeting is officially adjourned.